my name is Saitana Moss and I will be talking about empowerment in social work. So empowerment is something that all social workers do when it comes to advocating for clients and ensuring that we are serving the populations and communities the best way that we know how. Since the mid 1980s, Social work has been recognized as an empowering profession. Empowerment theory uses interventions to help guide people toward building autonomy and control over their lives. Depression is a primary contributor towards disempowerment, which can be experienced across a number of marginalized people. Empowerment theory seeks to empower individuals and communities to gain personal, interpersonal, and political power to better their lives. This work also strives to challenge systems that hinder these groups from meeting their needs. Social empowerment is the process of building autonomy, power, confidence, and other necessary tools needed to impact and pave the way towards any group that is being. For individuals, social empowerment could look like the, uh, gaining the inner and outer resources to make personal choices, such as where to eat, where to live, and other basic things on a daily basis. We can relate empowerment back to social welfare because social welfare is something that is discussed in policy. Some of the policy processes that these bills have um, include the discrimination that they face within certain groups. Being able to empower clients is so important because sometimes when they don't know where to go to get certain type of resources or other different referrals to assist them in a situation, that is where we, the social workers, step in to make sure that they are getting everything that they need in order to be successful. Empowerment relates to this course because that is one of the biggest ways that we can assist the communities that we serve. This relates to this course as well by the political process, values, and skills that are emphasized through policy making when we are working directly with the clients. And some of these policies that are put into effect affect our clients um, directly and so that's why that is something else that um, ensures that empowerment is a part of the policy making process. Empowerment through the LBGTQ community is a specific group that I wanted to specialize and discuss because I feel like that is a group that is um, discriminated against and it could use empowerment. Any who identify as part of a group that is largely marginalized can benefit from social empowerment but everyone benefits when society improves on all groups of people social empowerment efforts are most directly towards advocacy for any type of group um such as people living in poverty the lbgt community like i just said and people with disabilities and so much more the most marginalized members of these groups tend to lack the basic access to health care education and more social workers and others who aim to provide empowerment to marginalized individuals and communities strive to instill skills education resources and community engagement in the groups so they can thrive some of the application and the demonstration skills that social workers can use to assist the LBGT community is ensuring that they are being empowered through using a five-step framework um, to help the group and solve their problems. One of those things is called to identify a problem. Identify what is currently going on with the LBGT community, um, defini defining the strengths that they have because everybody does have a strength, um, being able to set goals, um, implementing interventions and lastly evaluating successfully on a collaborative level. By using those five things you can be able to not only come up with different interventions to assist the LBGT community but also looking up and seeing what different bills are being put into place right now and what we can do to advocate and empower this group more so they feel more comfortable. To further provide a demonstration on ways that we can assist this population and empower them, I will be providing a video showing you guys talking about LBGT rights, how they get harassed and bullied, and how so many negative outcomes are produced. You don't feel supported in the skin that you're in, so here's the video. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. These words can mean so much or so little to the average person. To you, it might just mean society, but to me, it means family. If you don't already know what these words mean, then I will embellish for you. Lesbian is homosexual women. Gays are homosexual men. Bisexuals are people who are attracted to both men and women. And lastly, transgender is when someone's sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex which means when they're born, they don't feel right or appropriate in their body's born gender, such as people like Bruce, now Caitlyn Jenner. Celebrities all around us are a part of the LGBT community, like Ellen DeGeneres, who's lesbian and happily married to a woman, 
Aunt John, who is gay and happily married to a man. And lastly, Angelina Jolie, who is bisexual and has had relationships with both men and women in the past. Not only are there LGBT celebrities, there are also many celebrities that may not be LGBT, but support the people that are, such as Whoopi Goldberg, Lady Gaga, Brad Pitt, and, Dam and Daniel Radcliffe. On June 25th, 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the U.S. Constitution guarantees the right for same-sex couples to marry in all 50 U.S. states. It took almost 100 years for them to approve that. There are 49 states where a transgender can get a gender reassignment surgery in the U.S. Illinois does not require genital surgery, but if you get your gender changed in another state, they can legally change your birth certificate. Now, people in the LGBT community have been fighting for rights such as non-discrimination and even gender reassignment surgeries. LGBT people are sexually, verbally, and physically harassed every day. Also, 30% of suicides are LGBT people. This means that seven out of 22 people who commit suicide each year are in this LGBT community. That drastic number could change if the people of our society would just accept the LGBT community and hold out welcoming hands to those who feel differently about their sexuality or gender. Although many may say that the religion goes against same-sex relationships, there are many churches that take in the rejected LGBT community for their own, such as Suncoast Community Church and Spring Hill Cross Point. These churches are LGBT friendly and understand that even if religion says that same-sex relationships are a sin, they know that you can't just stop being attracted to what your hearts and brains desires are. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender are serious and not immature words. Some people use these words to bully other people, like saying, hey, look over there, that kid looks gay, or even going to the lengths of calling someone transgender when they're not. Using these non-jokingly words to bully someone or make fun of them is disrespectful and juvenile. LGBT people are human just like us and deserve the love and respect of the people around them. LGBT people may feel differently about their sexuality or gender, but they eat, sleep, and breathe just like you and me. So like Daniel Radcliffe said, you don't have to be gay to be a supporter, you just have to be human. Daniel Radcliffe is right. You don't have to be in the LGBT community to believe that you should be able to like whomever you desire or want to be whatever gender you desire. So to end with, being lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender shouldn't change the way society looks at you, definitely in a day and age like now. I think one of the ways that um, we can assist the LGBTQ community is by helping them to know their rights when it comes to adoption. Also believe that um, there are times that, you know, the LGBT community get discriminated in the workplace as well. There are so many different ways that we can not only assist um, the LGBT community, but also make sure that we are doing our best to look into these bills that are out right now and doing what we can to push them out further to empower this community and that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for listening